Mitch Tommy, he's right here from Jacksonville, Florida. Give it up for Travis Calder. Maybe a little nervous, I don't know if you can tell. I'm 27 years old. Um, my Peter Pan complex is not coping with that well. But, um, my, my body is struggling to stay young, which I appreciate. Like, for instance, I can't grow facial hair. I haven't shaved in two years. I grow facial hair like a 14-year-old Mexican girl. I don't know what's going on. So I might as well tell you all now, I'm gay. Don't worry guys up front. It's not like I'm going to spit on you and you're going to grow a collection of Madonna CDs. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> I know there's always been a lot of ignorance between the gays and the straights, and I'm going to try to clear some of that up tonight. Um, we just, we've had a rough relationship throughout the century, and uh, you know, it, and it's not the ladies. Ladies love us. <laughs> they do. So guys, Let's be honest, the relationship has been a little bit strained. <laughs> Straight guys get a little nervous around the home. It happens. Um, and I, I've done a lot of thinking about what causes that, and I think I think I get it. It's the anal sex, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's a huge pain in the ass. <laughs> if you don't do it right, it can be a lot of shit to deal with. <laughs> I'll tell you this, when done right. When you do it right, it is just as good as you always secretly thought it would be. <laughs> I can just, I can see some of you guys going home tonight, honey. Right? We still have those anal beads you guys will gag at the bottom shower. Let's break those out. Oh, now there's a lot of talk about whether being gay is a, uh, I'm going to this back a little bit. <laughs> a lot of talk about whether being gay is a choice or whether it's, um, whether it's genetic, and there's a lot of good evidence on both sides, honestly. Uh, for instance, we all know that men and women are very different. We all want very different things. Women want to, uh, well, women want love and romance and those little pink fuzzies for their handcuffs that feel sexy. Men are much more simple. We want to get laid. We want to drink a beer. We want to watch some porn. It just makes more sense to me to put the men with the men and the women with the women. I, uh, everybody's happy. I don't understand why we do it differently. Um, you know, once upon a time, the gay men happy. And do you know why we've been bestowed with such an awesome name? Because, well, I'll tell you, just in my situation, with my partners, I can get laid, drink a beer, and watch some porn in that order or all at the same time if I want. <laughs> Why would I choose anything else, really? You guys are dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll also say this, on, on the side of it being natural, um, I mean, I don't know, when I see a very attractive guy, I can't help it, my throat just instantly relaxes. And, uh, <laughs> So, um, I know I'm in Jacksonville, and I know, I know we love our racing in Jacksonville, and this might sound like blasphemy, but I'm not a NASCAR fan. Nine. Maybe, maybe if they drop the end, call it ass card. And let's, that's marketing right there. But I will say this: I am a huge fan of Jimmy Johnson because he has two names that mean penis. I haven't seen a qualifying race before in my life, but I can just imagine how it goes when he wins. The announcer's like, Jimmy Johnson takes the lead. Oh wait, Dick Trickle's bringing up the rear. Jimmy Johnson finishes first. Jimmy Johnson gets the pole. I gotta go change my pants. I'm
Ma non lo va, non lo va, non lo va, non lo va.